everybody, this is Banker Warren. How are you? I'm back again. And in fact, I'm uh, about 30 pounds lighter, which is great. Um, how it happened was uh, I finally took some pictures of myself and looked at them in terms of what I was on YouTube and a few other places. And I said, oh my God, how is this possible? How did I get so big? Well, uh, I guess after 21 years of marriage and just eating whatever you want, you kind of get big. Uh, and as my kids say, Daddy, you're a big fat man. So, uh, I guess when you keep hearing that, you say, okay, you go to the doctor, the doctor says your BMI is off the charts, and you say, well, doc, I'm being compared to, you know, Japanese guys who have the build of, you know, they're, the, the, you know, uh, soup 40. I, I haven't been to 40 since I was in the eighth grade. So, uh, you know, when you, when you have a, you know, 46-inch chest, it's hard to, like, deal with the fact that, you know, you're going to be 40. Um, but you kind of realize that you do have to need to lose a little bit of weight and get back in shape. Uh, one of the best guys out there in terms of YouTube is a guy called Mike Chang. He is excellent. Uh, this young, you know, Chinese kid who, you know, bodybuilds, does everything else, and te tells you one of the simplest exercises to do in order to lose weight. You want to lose weight, eat more. And what he meant by eat more is for breakfast. You have a protein breakfast. You have eggs, whatever you normally eat. Let's say, for example, you normally eat three eggs at a shot, eat six. And keep eating six for about six days. What you do is you double your intake in terms of food for the first six days in the mornings. And what that does is start to speed up your metabolism. And then you break. What you do is come the seventh day, you now go back down to three eggs. You go back down to a normal breakfast. You start to do what the Greeks did. You include milk and honey in your diet. What you do is on the milk part, it's yogurt. It's that Greek yogurt. Not the American stuff that tastes all sugary, but the Greek stuff that tastes like sour cream. Because, you know, basically yogurt is supposed to be sour cream, only just a little bit blended more. So if you eat that for lunch, there's the Fage and, and Calabari or whatever, any one of those Greek yogurts will be terrific for you. You can eat two of those for, for lunch, you're actually set. Then what you do is kind of just think about it and say, you know what, I'm not going to eat after 8 o'clock. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have dinner, you know, at 7 and just stop. You can do what another friend of mine taught me, which was a great idea. You basically only eat half of whatever is given to you. You buy something in the, in the cafeteria, only half. The other half you give away to your friends, you do, or you just throw it out. Forget about the starving people in China, they're still going to be starving, it doesn't matter. You will lose weight. Uh, you can eat literally everything you want and just begin to lose weight. You have to realize that sweets do need to be gotten rid of. If you want sweets, the next thing is honey. Honey is fantastic in your diet. It's great for your complexion. It's great for your strength. It's great for your libido. It is a wonderful thing. Those little bees, when they make their little honey crop that goes out there, it is terrific. Um, do that. It, it will, you will see the difference in your body. You will see the difference in your vigor. If you want at night, you want some tips so you don't eat all those stupid potato chips because God, they buy the Yomongo size bag for $1.99. Do yourself a favor. Go buy the ones that are the individual treats. In other words, the ones that they give out for Halloween where it's only like half an ounce in the bag. Get those. And that's what you use as your snack. If you don't want to cut that out totally, what you do is three different scoops. You either have a scoop of peanut butter. If you eat a scoop of peanut butter, it's protein. It will fill you up. You won't need any of that. You can eat a scoop of honey. If you want from the, from the nice end in terms of that it's sweet and whatever. If you want to kill your taste buds, you use horseradish. Horseradish is the best thing on earth. It's great for your, you know, detoxing you, for getting rid of stuff in your bile and stuff like that. All you gotta do is take one spoon of it, spoonful of it, whether it's red or hot or white, and you will love it. And you will either love it or you'll hate it. But either way, you won't eat potato chips, you won't eat pretzels, you won't eat any of that other crap. And that's how you lose weight. The number one thing that no one realizes, guys, we know we're vain. We know we used to be, you know, a ton. Or we thought in our minds we were a ton. Really, we were six. But it doesn't matter. We thought we were a ton. Look at those photos of when you were younger. Put a full-size mirror in your bathroom. Get naked in front of it. Look at what you've done to yourself. And you will make the change. And basically, it's just a matter of willpower. And I think that's what you need to do. And then you can be svelte. So, enjoy. That's my tip for the day. Anyway, glad to talk to you. Bye.